Okay, we're going to be looking at a song called Keep Your Hands to Yourself by the Georgia Satellites. And uh, the benefit to learning this song as a beginning guitarist is that it contains a blues shuffle lick that uh, is heard on thousands and thousands of blues songs, rock songs, country songs. It's probably the most recognizable uh, lick in uh, all of pop music, really. Um, and the nice thing about this song is that it's in the key of A, and so all three of the shuffle, blues shuffle positions that we'll be using are in the lowest position, which makes them easiest to play. Uh, by the way, the, the blue shuffle lick is one of the many names for this. You can be you you can hear it uh, called by a lot of different names, but it, it people call it a blues lick or lots of different things. And there are some variations on it, of course, because it's used so widely. But let's take a look at uh, at our uh, sheet here for this. Let me bring that up real quick here. Okay, so uh, let's take, take a look at the uh, top three uh, diagrams there and you'll see that probably the most important thing is that for this type of lick you're only playing three, or excuse me, only playing two strings. And so your uh, picking becomes pretty important, you know, being, being precise on your picking. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of extra noise. So that's one thing. It's a, it's a good right hand uh, technique development uh, process. Uh, so you'll also notice that by looking at all three of these diagrams, they all are appearing on the same place on the neck, which is why this is a good song to start out with learning this, uh, because you won't have to move your left hand up or down the neck. Uh, some other songs you would definitely uh, need to do that using different keys you would do that, but the thing is this lick is so flexible that you can do it just about anywhere on the neck, but we're going to take it at this place right now. So let me uh, switch over. Let me stop the screen share there. Let me switch over to the guitar cam here. And what we're looking at is uh, two notes and two notes only. Uh, when we're playing these two notes, the first and the fifth of a scale, that's also known as a power chord. Now, technically, it, it may not really be a chord because it's only two notes, but it's generally called a power chord, right? So we're playing the fifth string open, and the fourth string is fretted on the second fret using the first finger. The other position we'll have is the fourth or the fifth string open and the fourth string fretted on the fourth fret with the third finger. So the two different sounds that we're getting are this sound and that sound. Okay, all of this in this particular song will be played with down strokes. So it's going to be a, another good exercise. And I would really recommend this right hand basically keeping it anchored somehow so that you can get that nice precise downstroke picking pattern. So, uh, and quite frankly, explaining this via text or by, by talking about it is a lot more difficult than playing it <laughs> once you get the hang of it. So you will want to go play that first, uh, that first finger twice and then bring down that third finger, play it once, and then back to the first finger and play it once again. So that process is repeated and you would count it as one and two and three and four and, and your third finger always happens on the two and the four. So it sounds like this, one and two and three and 
four and one and two and three and four and etc. Whoops. It's kind of hard to talk <laughs> and play it at the same time. There we go. So that's the A position. The D position, basically, you just move. I call this up because it's up in pitch. You move up one string and you play. That's the D position. Here's the A again. And then for the E position, you move down a string. So it's... And then there's usually uh, just just basically an A chord at the end uh, of the verse and of the chorus. So let's see. Gosh, can I sing this in A? I will give it a try. Let's see. I got a little change in my pocket going jingle-ling-a-ling. -a -ling. Gonna call you on the telephone, baby. Give you a ring, going to deviate each time I call. I get the same old thing back to A. Man, a huggy, no kissy, till I get a wedding ring. Down to E, my honey, my babe. Don't put no love upon no shelf. And I said, don't hand me no lies and keep your hands to yourself, etc. So that's really the whole trick to this song. And believe me, once you get this blues lick down you literally can use it the rest of your guitar playing life now there's as i said there are other variations for instance if we wanted to play this in g then we need to start using that fourth finger and we could go Uh, again, uh, another variation. Uh, say we we're playing in C, you would, uh, you may also hear this being used. Whoa, it, that's a little tough. Sitting down. It's a little easier to play standing up than sitting down because of the way your hand rests on the guitar. Let me try that knee. Yeah. And here I'm adding in an additional note, but. Again, that's just another variation on this lick. So once you learn that basic feel of it, uh, it'll, it'll serve you very well for a long, long time. So I think that pretty well wraps it up for that standard blues lick uh, on Keep Your Hands to Yourself. So thanks for watching.